The woman from Massachusetts, Ms. Presley, is recognized. Good to see you, Director Chopra. Uh, I always smile when I see you because I actually know what it is that you do. Uh, I'm grateful uh, for your service and uh, certainly your resilience. You know, despite the destructive efforts by Republicans to sabotage the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, I commend you on your work to support vulnerable consumers, from cracking down on junk fees and predatory lenders, to working to remove burdensome medical debt from credit, credit reports, and protecting seniors against fraud. The CFPB's record speaks for itself. Now, I want to talk about the $2 trillion crisis that is student debt. Uh, you've heard the expression, uh, like a, a dog with a bone. I'm no dog, but I am a congresswoman with a cause. And some of my colleagues may be tired of me bringing up student debt, but imagine how tired our constituents are of living with it. For borrowers who live in my district, the Massachusetts 7th, whether it's a father juggling part-time jobs or a third grade teacher who spent a decade in the classroom making payments month to month, their financial institutions, or their situations rather, are as precarious now as they were three years ago when payments were first paused. And student loan services are not making it any easier. High wait times when you call, false information when you get someone on the phone, and wrong billing amounts when they ask for money. Just last month, Mohila, the largest student loan servicer in the country, proved its incompetence. 78,000 borrowers received the wrong information for the SAVE income-driven repayment plan. 153,000 borrowers did not receive a bill until after it was due. And for the ones who did, 21,000 borrowers received bills that were very high and far from correct, including some who received a bill for $100,000. Now imagine opening your mail and seeing a bill for $100,000. This is ridiculous, and it's proof that the CFPB's work is more critical now than ever before. Director Chopra, could you describe what steps the Bureau is taking to protect student loan borrowers from the gross incompetence of student loan servicers? Well, certainly those servicers, just like mortgage servicers, impact people's lives so much. You know, we have seen over the course of the past 15 years illegal foreclosures, and other harms in the mortgage market, but in the student loan market, a wrongful default or a major error, it can hit people so hard early in their financial life and eliminate their ability to even get an auto loan or, or do anything else. So we hold those companies, they may not be banks, but they have, they have to follow the same laws. We are allocating real attention to this, including the return to repayment, because there was, many of those servicers shrunk quite a bit during the payment pause, scaling up, and we will be releasing more information about some of our findings. We have taken enforcement actions, and it's very, very important that people are not the victim of an unlawful practice. Thank you. And Director Schroeper, what is your advice uh, you know, sort of consider this a PSA, if you will, to borrowers who are dealing with predatory student loan servicers, scam scammers, and malicious actors. Well, certainly be very, very cautious about talking to someone who isn't the loan servicer. They may be using information about you in order to get mm -hmm. you to pay something that you don't owe them. We also say if you're having trouble, please file a complaint we're often able to get those individuals across the country fixes and sometimes clear answers on what really needs to happen. This whole thing has to work or there's gonna be big problems. Thank you, Director Chopra. You know, like uh, many Americans, I took on student loans to pursue higher education, not because I wanted to, but because I had to. It was the only way. It took me over 20 years to pay them off while I was a caregiver to my mother and often working multiple jobs, including 
uh, as an aide in the House and in the Senate. Um, but I want an easier road for the next person. The people demand and deserve student debt cancellation. In the meantime, we must provide relief for our borrowers wherever and however we can, and that includes holding student loan servicers accountable for their incompetence. Now, thank you again, Director Chopra, and your entire dedicated team, and I look forward to continuing to work together.